Hello and welcome to GL Comics. My name is Ray Emling, your host. And I am Maddie G. You're still stick with Maddie G. I could have swore by now you'd have some new nickname. Nope. Well, fine. That's what you want to do. Be lame. I don't care. Who am I to stop you? It's not lame. Yeah, it's whatever. Not lame. We should really get those t-shirts made though. Maddie G. And then on the back it says, everyone comes for the moans and groans. Gee whiz. Yeah. Anyway, today is a very, very special episode because one, this is the first episode we've recorded in probably like two weeks. So we haven't actually had a conversation in a while, so it's, it's very unique. But on top of that, we're going to talk about something very near and dear to our hearts, and that is the amazing world of Pokemon. That's, so says Professor A. Oak. Professor, uh, Professor Ash? Ray. Yeah, Professor, Professor Ray. Ash, yeah, Ash obviously becomes a pro- Pokemon professor. He should. You I don't mean, need any credentials for that. No, and you you definitely don't have to be over the age of 10, which he is not. Correct. And yeah. Never has been. Never has and been, never, never will be. be. He's eternally 10, and that's just one of the many disturbing facts we're going to talk about today. So, let's just d- jump right into it here. Uh, so, Matt, I'm curious, because you've played more generations than I... And you know a couple more Pokemon than I, but let's, uh, who is your favorite Pokemon? I know it's a very tough question to ask, but just throw some names out there. It can be more than one. Oh, man. Well, one of my older preferences was Raichu. Um, Sandslash was another old one I really liked. Nowadays, I lean towards, like, Oh, what's his name? Crook- crocodile. He's like a red crocodile with sunglasses on, who I think is really cool. And also Starmie, water really? psychic. My two favorite types. Nice. Mash together. So that's probably my top four. Um, really, my whole like gold version team was pretty dear to my heart, but. I don't go into that at the moment. I'm really shocked that you do not have Politoed up there as one of your favorites. Politoed is awful. I hate Politoed. That's shocking. I love, uh, it's just it, it's too frog like and it the problem is it doesn't go with any of its other forms like That's true. Poliwag, Poliwhirl and Polyrath all look similar. They're all blue. They all have this swirly thing. And then there's Politoed, who's just this green frog thing that doesn't look like any of them, who was kind of just thrown in later. Well, Pokemon... I, I really like Poliwhirl and Poliwrath. Yeah. But I don't like Politoed. Well, the uh, the second generation kind of did that with a couple characters that, like, they looked nothing alike. Like, they did that with um, uh, who, Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. Like, they threw Hitmontop in there randomly, and then... Um, they gave him a preform. Goes with them, though. Yeah, but then they gave him a preform of Tyrogue, who looks nothing like any of them. I suppose. I don't know. It was weird. Like it's like it's like they were trying to make a missing link out of characters, and it just it didn't always fit. They, yeah, they're not always as blatant as Politoed. It's true. true. Um, mine. Uh, well, I mean. Honestly, my favorite of all time is Charizard, but that's like the same with everybody. But I mean, I grew up with Pokemon Red and I chose Charmander and Charizard was my starter. That that was my starter, which a lot of people did. So mm-hmm. I, I'm trying to stay away from that because, you know, that's everybody's favorite. So he's one of my favorites. Um, I'm trying to think of more obscure ones because I uh, – the ones I always tend to like are always like I like Charizard and Mewtwo. So does everybody and their mom. So I You're try to stay away from that. Aren't you? I am a Tangela man. That that's right. I love those those little vines. All I don't even. I can't even fake that. I hate Tangela. <laughs> um, probably one of my more obscure favorites. I don't know if it's obscure, but for some reason, I always had a love for Pidgeotto. That stands to reason. Yeah, like I'm not. I, 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 I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big f- fan of Pidgeot and. Uh, I hate Pidgey. Like, the only reason I ever deal with Pidgeys is so I can get a Pidgeotto. But I, just because I grew up watching the anime, I always loved Pidgeotto in, in the anime. He was always so cool. And so I tend to, when I catch a Pidgey, evolve it to Pidgeotto. And then when it gets ready to evolve the Pidgeot, I tend to stop it because I just love Pidgeotto. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's one of my favorites. Uh, for some reason, I always had a thing for um, 
always kind of like Arbok. Thought thought Arbok was really cool. Arbok, ironically, I, I could fit right in with with Team Rocket. I always liked Arbok and Weezing. I always thought they were really cool. Weezing, really? Yeah, I I, I like Weezing's design. I think it looks looks really cool. Um, albeit, you know, using them in the game, they're both kind of useless. But I wouldn't say that. Eh. Poison is insane. There's better, yeah. There, there's better poison Pokemon you could use though. So, like Nido King. Yeah, Nido King. Poison. Yeah, and then plus you you can throw in like Mega Punch and Mega Kick, and you know have a little punch behind it. No pun intended. Um, it's all about that earthquake, man. Earthquake. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So I mean, I got a couple different ones that are in mind. Most of my favorites come from from first gen. Uh, I I played second gen. Didn't really. I never grew attached to some of those Pokemon. Like I said, I'm I'm an anime kid. We'll get to talking about the anime, but yeah, like I I always love the anime. So a lot of characters that Ash used in the first season, I kind of grew attached to. So yeah, that was uh, that was that for me. Yeah, I'd say probably if I had to choose ultimate favorite would be Charizard. If I had to choose a favorite that wasn't so mainstream, I'd go with Pidgeotto. So. Yeah, that was uh, well, that's my choices. That's, all right, cool, cool, cool. Was you was your Charizard a male? I had a female oh. one from yellow version, which I transferred to gold. Yeah, which I mean, I don't know. Useful. I didn't. I don't know for sure because I mean, my one and I had Pokemon Fire Red in that one. It's a male, but in Pokemon Red, they didn't give you genders, did they? Uh, the early the early versions no, but like yeah. once it traded to gold, it got a gender. Yeah, I I never traded the gold, so I always okay. just assumed my Charizard was male. I mean, most of them are. Yeah. So, yeah. So that was cool. Um, we'll get in a favorite game, but I still to this day do not like this Pokemon. I just like the one I had, and you know about this because I we used to battle each other. I had a level one hundred Clefable. Yes. And it was amazing. It was one just amazing, just awesome Clefable. Yeah. And I mean, it, yeah. if, were you if you say? build them the right way, if you build them the right way in the game, they're just impossible to take down. Like they're a wall of defense that you just can't can't get down. It's crazy. My Clefable had I know it had like Ice Punch, Thunder, Hyper Beam, and Metronome. And Metronome was just killer in the first gen. Really? Better than oh, yeah. Me. Yeah, like, for some reason now, if you use Metronome, it always gives you really crappy, uh, like, yeah. like abilities. Like, you use Metronome, and, and Metronome uses, like, Tail Whip. But back in the first oh, gen, yeah. like, you'd use Metronome and get Flamethrower. And it was, like, always awesome stuff. But, uh... I never had that chance to use Metronome that much. Yeah, like, that was my main... Clefable was my go-to. Like I had a Mewtwo and a Charizard in my party, but Clefable was the starter. Clefable was like my last line, and it's just so weird now because I still don't I don't like the way Clefable looks. It's just too girly and poofy for me. But I had a really awesome Clefable. I am proud of you. I yeah. know quite a few people who really like Clefable, and it's kind of strange to me. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a brony like whatever the Clefable version of a brony is, but. <laughs> It was it was an awesome Clefable. The day the day I I had to get rid of or I didn't get rid of but the day I guess I lost. I don't know what happened to it, but some something happened to my my Pokemon Red. That was a sad day because I never got that Clefable back. But I mm. remember when, the first time you and me played Pokemon Stadium, and porting them in there and then seeing my Clefable in all its 3D glory. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> I was like that that is an awesome Pokemon right there. I don't remember my entire party. I remember. For sure, I had Clefable, Charizard, and Mewtwo. Those are my main three. Because a lot of times in Pokemon Stadium, you did three-on-three -three battles. So those are the three I always chose. And then obviously, you have a party of six. I have no idea who my other three were. So they just kind of get le left behind. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I I remember five out of six of my gold team starters. And I just can never remember the sixth one. Who were they? Uh, let's see. Charizard, Kabutops, Espeon, Noctowl, um, Nidoking, and the other one that I can't remember. 
Hmm. I might have had a, an Articuno in my party. I don't remember for sure. It's been years. But uh, so I guess we'll move on from favorite Pokemon. We kind of established that. Let's talk about favorite game. Um, I'll just start because mine's really easy. Fire Red. I loved Pokemon Red version. Obviously, I, that's the one I grew up with. So to get an updated version with some of the new stuff, like the, the new abilities, uh, you have gender and uh, holding items. To get an updated version of Pokemon Red to me is just awesome. I still have it to this day. I bought it. Uh, that was the first game I bought when I got my Game Boy uh, SP, I think it was. Bought, bought Pokemon Fire Red. I still have both of those to this day. Uh, t- like three weeks ago, I just turned it on and started playing again. So, I mean, I definitely still use that. But what's your favorite game? I think mine, well, I probably spent the most time in gold. That's got a lot of good memories. But I think my favorite was Sapphire. Um, it just had all those newer systems that kind of worked better. Like the PC system worked a lot smoother. Like you couldn't clone anymore. Sure. But it just worked without saving every time you switch through boxes and stuff is just a lot faster. And I, I like gen three quite a bit. And I also really enjoyed doing the, uh, do you remember those contests that you could enter with the different, uh, personality types like beauty, smart, cool, etc. Very vaguely. I I did that stuff a lot. I like got into Poke Blocks, berries, prepared my Pokemon, and then the first one I ever got through the whole like circuit on all four all four contests was a Ludicolo well versed in beauty and it was my proudest achievement what is gen 3 which games are that sapphire and uh ruby ruby and sapphire that's right and then emerald came later emerald, right yeah yeah emerald yeah counts in that too um i should i guess i should clarify my favorite game technically was pokemon red because i grew up playing that but fire red is my current favorite because i mean i just love that now but yeah, red's the one I had the most memories on. I'd never owned yellow. I think I played it though, and uh, played. Oh, okay. Yeah, yellow version. I never owned it, but I played it. Um, That's the first game I ever played. I remember growing up. I had a buddy named Nick, and uh, we used each other as our, as our rivals in our games because w- we both loved the show, had the trading cards. We both went out and got the games, and ironically enough, I got red and he got blue. And so we ended up mm-hmm. like we used each other as our rivals and then we would battle and trade. And it was it was great times. That, that was some of the best stuff. And of course, it, it, it was so perfect because I always chose Charizard. and He had a Blastoise and it was just it, 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 it could not have been playing better. Like we could have we could have just been an anime, just the two of us. And I think we actually drew <laughs> ourselves in a comic book with our really poorly drawn comics. But, yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun back then. Um so I'm sure you've got me way beat. Uh, most recent game or generation you've played. Honestly, I'm gonna say I don't. I've never even played Ruby and Sapphire. I think the most recent I ever had, I owned Pokemon Crystal. That was the most recent. So that second you generation. Said you played Fire Red, man. Well, I guess, but that I don't consider that. That came after Sapphire and Ruby. It also had the newer Pokemon. So... Does it? I must then have. Okay, well, yeah, I guess that's, that's the far, farthest I played. I, I didn't consider that, I guess. I For some reason, in my head, it just wasn't. I didn't know when it came out. I, I thought it was just a remake. I didn't know it had the newer Pokemon in it. Yeah, it does. Uh, it well, does. then I guess that. But uh, and up until that point, the most reason I ever played was Crystal. Uh, well, I, I think I've played all generations except for one. I skipped to the one before black and white. I guess I didn't play black and white too. I don't know if that counts, but, Mm. and then I played, uh, X, Pokemon X. Do you own it or did you just play it? I do own it. I still have it. I actually haven't beaten it yet. I would uh, love to yeah. get a new Pokemon game, but the only problem is I'm so far behind on the system that I don't want to drop yeah. that kind of money. Like I have, like I said, yeah. I have a Game Boy Advance SP. Like that's all I got. So I don't feel like going. Is it on what DS or is that what 
it's still the newest handheld. It's it's on 3ds. 3ds. I see. I don't even know what the newest handheld in the, is, is anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, straightforward. Most most recent game we played. Um, what are your thoughts on the anime? And uh, this is really cool because I just saw that they added the first season of Pokemon on Netflix, and I'm super pumped about that because I'm totally gonna Did watch really that. Fun? Yeah. So. Uh, the most recent of the anime I've watched, I think, I remember Ash having a Chikorita and, uh, a Cyndaquil and all that, so whatever that is, it's, I don't remember, Master Quest, I don't know, I don't remember the names anymore. That that is one. There is Pokemon Master Quest. I never really watched the show. I've definitely seen all the first season. Yeah. Um, and I've seen... Probably the most recent stuff I've seen are a couple of the movies, like, oh man, I don't remember what which ones they were. The one with Entei and all the unknown was yeah. probably the most memorable. I think that was the third one. Um, I th- Is that the one they gave out all those Mew cards from? Those shiny Mew cards? Yeah, that was that one. That's probably the most well, wait, recent. Th- that was the Mew card that looked like a, like a hieroglyphic. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that was the third one. Okay. Because there was Pokemon the first movie, Pokemon 2000 that had to deal with the legendary birds and Lugia and Ho-Oh. And, yep. then, um, and then the third one was Entei and the Unknown. Yeah, okay. Uh, speaking of Ho-Oh, did you ever realize that Ho-Oh was in like the very first episode of season one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's, it's so and, weird. I don't know if they ever confirmed. I, I mean, obviously they confirmed, but I don't know if they ever like mentioned it in the show that he's like, holy crap, that was the first thing I ever saw. No, but um, Ho-Oh was actually – it was meant to be in the first 150 Pokemon. I believe oh, – really? I, don't, I don't remember the exact number, but I remember the first generation was actually supposed to be like 175 Pokemon or something like that and just a bunch of them didn't make the cut. You know, they, they just didn't have time to put him in the game. And then in the anime, Ho-Oh basically was already thought up. And so they threw it in there as kind of like a, like a hey, here's some something mysterious. Because they had the idea for Ho-Oh for a long time. They just hadn't mm-hmm. introduced it into the game. Okay. I didn't realize that. Yeah, because I didn't realize, uh, did they make the anime after second gen came out? If so, why doesn't f- the first season have any second gen Pokemon? Yeah. But... Yeah. Well, and then there's a lot of gl- like, there's a lot of misinterpretation of stuff too. Because uh, later on in the an- and it actually was the next episode of the anime, Ash sees a drawing of Articuno on the wall, and then Miss Di or not diagnosis Miss is uh I don't remember, I don't know what word I was trying to use, but he basically says Articuno is the one he saw, not Ho Oh, and it definitely was a Ho Oh. Yeah, it was definitely a Ho Oh. <laughs> yeah, but uh, in the anime, he points to the Articuno picture and says, "Hey, I saw that Pokemon." But it, you know, well, he's ten. He probably just saw a stupid. giant bird in the sky. Oh yeah, that's a giant bird, right? It's the same thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, Professor Oak! I saw Big Bird. Can I catch him with a Pokeball? Sure, son. I'm Professor Oak. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and I'll send you on a dangerous mission. Hey, Professor Oak, why don't you work in a university? Why do you work in this tiny two-house town? <laughs> hey, hey, Professor Oak, why is my mom walking around in a bath towel at your place? And no reason. Just go on a Pokemon journey, son. Okay, Professor. I, I am fully, fully, like, I, I definitely believe that Professor Oak really just sent Ash on a Pokemon journey because he wanted to hook up with Ash's mom. Gross. I'm just saying, I, I fully believe that because they're they're awfully close because every time, like, when Ash is in the Pokemon League, suddenly Pro- yeah. Professor Oak and his mom are together like, oh, we just happen to get here at the same time, buddy. Nothing weird going on. I mean, they both went to that, like, beach swimsuit contest together, too. That's true. And Ash's mom entered, and Ash's mom was a babe. She won. Yeah, she, she, did, won. she won, which is weird that they, that, I don't know, that Pokemon, the Pokemon writers, they're, they were kind of weird, kind of weird people. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, they were, James had boobs in that episode. Yeah, that, that episode uh, did not make it into the, into the English dub. Yeah, banned, banned. Banned, banned, and there was uh, the seizure episode was banned as well. 
Oh yeah, Porygon. <laughs> yeah, the Porygon one. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I've seen the beach one. I haven't seen the Porygon one. I've seen both. Well, and the beach one actually had a dub. The beach one, unlike the Porygon one, actually did have an English dub to it. But oh, they, really? they they just never aired it. But it actually did um, – yeah, I believe it did have an, a full English dub to it. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't remember. Um, and then there was another one, uh, the, the Safar- Safari Zone episode because uh, the guy – the warden of the Safari Zone has a gun. That got to banned shoot too. All the Pokemon, right? Well, that that got banned too, and because it got banned, it causes one of the most confusing things of Pokemon and of how Ash got all his Tauros. Because in that episode is when Ash catches all the Tauros. Isn't it Tauros? That's what I said, Tauros. Multiple is it is plural of Tauros still Tauros? Yeah, I believe so. I don't know. I don't know. Just shut up. Anyway. What, what do you mean? What, what's controversial about that? What do you Not what controversial, you just it was confusing cuz like we cut co- like let randomly um Oh, oh, okay. So the yeah. band episode had that information. Yeah, the band episode had that episode and then aired. it wasn't aired and then in the English dub you check he back in with Professor Oak toros. and he just has like 29 toros and it's really like it's like where did that come from? They try to fix it too like in the English dub it's like Oh, these are the Tauros that Ash caught in the Safari Zone, like, three weeks ago that you just didn't see. Like, they tried to cover it up, but it did not It did not work. So, wait, they banned it because of a gun, really? Yeah, yeah, because he had a gun, he, like, pointed it at Ash and everything, and they thought it was too violent. But, like... <sighs> don't use logic. It's, it's, the, right. it's the FCC, just don't use logic. Because there's so many other kids shows out then that were way more violent. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, like Batman whatever. the Animated Series, there was guns like every episode. Sure. I think it was the fact that the gun was being pointed at a child that made it not Maybe. okay. Yeah, because that's – because I mean, yeah, there's a ton of other shows that had guns back then. But I think because he pointed it at Ash, it made it not okay. I don't know. Um, to wrap up, we, we got about like seven minutes. But, you know, just curious. What kind of stuff would you like to see in the future of Pokemon? And don't say Pokebank because everyone seems to say that, and I don't know what that is. Uh, I won't explain it to you, but uh, <laughs> what would I like to see in the future? Like games, you mean? Gaming, um, I, I guess games, because, I mean, you don't really watch the anime anyway. And the anime's gotten stupid because none of the original voice actors are there anymore. So, uh, yeah, I guess gaming. Like, what, what would you like to see in the future of the, of the games? I have my idea in mind. I'm curious as to what you, you think. That is a fantastic question. Um, I don't really want to see... I, I don't really want to see new Pokemon. I kind of just want to see... Um, different... I don't know. Different tactics. In... Trainer battles, I guess. Because I play some... In-browser, like... PvP Pokemon... And there's just a lot of overpowered stuff in there that I kind of just want to see gone. I know it's yeah. not going to disappear, but just some more balanced moves, tactics, whatever. I don't. I I kind of want them to bring back the challenge, I guess, because they the games did used to be a little more challenging. They didn't hold your hand through it, and uh, that's something I noticed about White for sure. White was super duper easy. Um, I felt like I got to the Elite Four super quickly. And then X was a little better. It's still pretty easy, but just kind of bring some puzzles or challenges or whatever back into the games. My idea, and we talked about this in the future, and I really think it would be a great idea. If I could design a game, I already have all the controls in mind and everything. I think mm-hmm. we should. It, they should make an open world Pokemon like Skyrim, where mm-hmm. you roam open world, you catch Pokemon as you see them, and I definitely think. Um, I think once you th- throw out the Pokemon, instead of having a turn based system, I know turn based is what made Pokemon what it is, but it's been like that for over for about twenty years. Like it's time to change it up a little, and you know if you don't want to make it canon. That's fine. Make it like a separate thing, I guess. But I think it'd be really cool. Obviously, it's not going to be on Xbox or PlayStation because it's a Nintendo-owned franchise. But 
mm-hmm. have it come out. Uh, you, you roam around as a trainer. First of all, customizable trainers. You can make yourself like like we talked about this briefly, and I think one of the video game ones. Uh, you can make yourself, and like you know, I'm t- I'm tired of being a ten year old with a, a baseball cap and a backpack. Like there are so many trainers in the world, obviously, because you battle them all the time. Why do you have to always be a teenage kid? Why can't I be the uh, the biker guy, the the cue ball? Like that's what I look like. Why can't I be? one of those trainers that's older and and more experienced why do i always have to be the kid so i definitely think you should be able to customize your trainer uh you should be able to run around and and fight fight pokemon and and capture them and when you throw your pokemon out each pokemon has four moves uh now this would be more for an xbox or playstation i don't know how nintendo works but in my mind i say you throw the pokemon out once the Pokemon is out, then you're in the Pokemon's perspective. You use the joystick to move, and then your X, A, B, and Y are one of your four moves. So say you throw out a Bulbasaur, Y is Razor Leaf, B is Vine Whip, A is Growl, and X is Tackle. And then you fight. And you fight Pokemon that way, and then you capture them. And maybe you know use the select button or something to, to go to your menu and throw a Pokeball, like, like kind of like old school. But I, obviously... It would need some work, some more ideas, but I definitely think that would be a fun way to do it. Um, there is a game online that actually has started kind of like that. I think it's called Pokemon Generation or Generation, something like that, where it is kind of an open world feel. And I think if someone put money behind that and got on that, made it like Skyrim where you could fight people online or just play single player, I think it would be just an amazing amazing experience for all pokemon lovers of all ages that would be pretty cool if they could pull it off yeah i, I definitely think they the can open world and the combat would be a little i don't know if difficult is the right word uh, would you be able to just like traverse the landscape during a battle or would you be confined to a space like what if you're a bird how does that work do you just fl- flap around, like, hovering over the ground? Well, I don't, yeah, you'd stay hovering around the ground. You'd use the joystick to kind of attack. And, uh, yeah, I think overall it'd be a pretty good uh, pretty good open world. But, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously I'm not a game designer, so I can't come up with all the, uh, can't come up with all the game designs. But uh, I think it'd be a fun, fun thing to experience. But, yeah. Uh, uh that is all the time we have for today that's uh that's our that's our pokemon talk so uh yeah i mean overall pretty good stuff kind of kind of kind of laid back kind of relaxed you know didn't want to get uh, into all the crazy stuff maybe we can do another one later but uh that's it for today for gl comics i'm ash's dad i'm giovanni's persian have a good night everyone